Hey guys, so I didn't know if I was going to talk through this video because I didn't know if I was going to post it on this channel, but I decided last minute to post it. So here I am doing a quick voiceover for this beat face. I don't really beat my face very often. It sounds so violent, my God. I decided to go ahead and show you guys this look since you guys all liked it a while ago when I posted it on my Instagram. I'm just hydrating and priming my face with the Smashbox Primer Water. We're working that in. Hey, 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 hey. I have a whole video about how I do my brows and I'll link it in the description box for you guys. But in a nutshell, I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the color six for this one. I usually use five, but I bought it again and decided to get six just to go a little bit darker. I'm not sure, I kind of think I like the five better. These are definitely not my best brows. I'm, I definitely went crazy with the tail end over here, but it's all good. I'm gonna clean it up with my concealer later, which I don't usually have to do, but these ones look really bad, so. It's all good, everything is always fixable. Grabbing my concealer, these are two concealers mixed together. They're both the NYX Gotcha Covered in the color Deep and Tan to get my perfect shade. Well, this is not my perfect shade. <laughs> no, this is actually a little bit, well, this is a lot a bit lighter, okay? But um, I like to use it to highlight too, so. We're highlighting the under eyes and then we're also concealing any weird marks on my face and my smile lines. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clean up these brows because wow probably the worst brows ever. For some reason, when I have a darker pencil, I get a little scared or something, I don't know. Blending my concealer all out, and you guys will notice I'm using kind of like this really big concealer brush. I wanna let you know, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I only washed about six of my brushes, so <laughs> I don't need to have perfect brushes for everything. It's all good, I make it work. I work with what I have, and it ends up turning out pretty okay. So we're just blending that out. I'm using my primer water backwards. <laughs> to wet my beauty blender, you know, work that in, gently pushing the product into my face, not really wiping it, but pushing it in. And yes, I am aware this is very light, but we're gonna go in and contour so it's all good. And you can see I conceal a lot, so I don't even need foundation. I just, I don't like to put layers that I don't need. If I put foundation, it would have been covered up anyway, so whatevs. Hey, get down, get down, hey, hey using the Black Up Cosmetics Invisible Eyebrow Fixer to gel and hold my eyebrows in place. My brows look so much better. Lord! I know my face looks so light right now, you guys. Please don't. It'll be okay in the end, I promise you. All right, Stila, come through. With the Deep Shade Contour Kit, I'm gonna go ahead and take that darker shade and contour, get a little color back in there. And I'm also going to highlight my nose. Now I don't always do this to you guys, I know. I know some of y'all don't like that. And I don't always like it either, but this is a beat face tutorial. So I'm doing the whole thing, okay? I'm even doing my chin. That's how we do. We're gonna go, we're gonna go hard and go all the way. I'm gonna grab that lighter shade in the palette and I'm gonna highlight even more. highlighting my upper lip and my chin. I'm gonna grab a new sponge and I'm just, again, wetting that with the primer water and working all of that product in, blending it out and yada, yada, yada. I like to use these little tiny sponges. They're just so convenient and they're super cheap. You can get them anywhere, Target, Marshalls, and then you don't have to wash them, you just toss them out. Like I can get a whole bag of like a hundred for two bucks, so. It's the same exact material as a beauty blender. So I'm just working all the contour in my cheeks, my chin, my nose. Hey, get down, I'm gonna bake with the Origins powder. I forget what this is called, but you'll see it on screen. <laughs> and I'll also link it in the description, so don't worry. I'm gonna grab another one of my sponges and I'm going to pack that on. This is actually my favorite part. I think this is so much fun. Cause I don't do this all the time. Like I just have so much fun with this. I probably go a little overboard, but I really love baking. So I'm just baking all of the places where I put a highlight. So under my eyes, my nose, my forehead, my chin, and my lip. And I really packed this on. I usually don't put this much on, but you know. I was filming, so I felt like I needed to overcompensate. Whatever, it's fine. Looks good in photos, people, okay? This is Instagram makeup, beat face, photography, video. I'll do a more realistic one later on too, because you guys, if you know me, you know I don't wear this much makeup usually. This is the anti-aging eyeshadow primer pot from Urban Decay, working that in so that my shadows will pop. And I'm gonna start defining my crease in my eye. I like to use the Kat Von D palette for this. This is Rust palette, I'm using the shade Contour. So I'm just putting that into my crease and then I'm blending it up a little bit so that it makes a nice transitioning color. 
So I start with a little bit and add more as needed, blending out each time. And I keep opening my eyes to make sure that when I open my eyes, you can actually see the color. Cause I tend to have a little bit of a hooded eye so it can disappear. So just make sure you keep opening your eyes to make sure that everything is visible. Cause we're gonna add a deeper color in there. You don't want the orangey color to get lost. I told you this is my favorite part baking. So I'm gonna take a photo for a Snapchat. All right, I'm going in with the Kat Von D palette, Sage. We're using the color Define. This is a really pretty forest green color. This color is so pretty, oh my God. I bought this entire palette for this color because I don't really use any of the other colors in the palette. But I'm just gonna work this a little bit in at a time, making that kind of triangle shape or V shape on the outer. I don't cover my whole lid with it, just cover like the outer third. You wanna pack most of the product on the outside of your eye and then just kind of blend it out into that triangle, if that makes any sense. Like don't start the product all the way out. You kind of want to start it where your eye stops and then blend it out so that it's not too harsh. And then I keep opening my eyes again to make sure that you can see the product when I open my eyes because I have hooded eyes. So I'm just blending, blending, opening my eyes to make sure you can see the product and then adding more where needed. Taking that other brush that I had the orange eyeshadow powder on and I'm going to just blend out the top of that green so that it has a nice transitional fade and there's no harsh line. So blend, 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 blend. And I'm bringing it a little towards the inside as well. Grabbing a little bit more of that color and deepening out the outer corner. And blend. Blend, girl! I spend the most time blending eyeshadow, it's so annoying. I don't have a very big lid space, so I like to use tiny little brushes when I do this and really take my time. I'm grabbing the Smashbox palette, the Bold Eye palette, and I'm gonna get that really bright green color. It's called Sellout. Ooh, you a sellout, girl? Is it Sellout or Techno? I don't freaking know. I think it's called Sellout. It's this really bright green color. That would make sense, money green, right? <laughs> and I'm applying it with a little tiny brush just to the inner two thirds of my eye, like the part that I didn't cover with the green. And I'm not gonna bring it past my crease. I'm actually gonna just keep it right on my lid and make sure it's really packed on there nice and vibrantly. I grab the same brush and I'm gonna grab that foresty green color again. And I'm gonna apply that right on the inner corner of my eye and then I'm gonna sweep it inwards, trying not to bring it over my crease again. And this is just gonna kind of help define my lid a little bit more. And again, I just take my time with this using very small brushes so that I don't mess up my lid. Right, time to take off this powder. And look, I put so much on, it's ridiculous. At this point, I was like, oh girl, what did you do? <laughs> I went a little bit crazy. I don't know, I just like seeing my face with all the powder on it, it's fun. If I could walk around with the powder, that would be amazing. So I'm just using my brush to kind of sweep all the product off. And I look like a ghost. So to contour, I actually like to use a foundation. So I'm just using a powder foundation from Bare Minerals. This is in the shade Deepest Deep. I'm just going over all the spots that I put the cream contour, just to kind of set it and also bring color back in again, since that powder was so dramatic. I'm adding that forest green color under my eyes, dragging it from the outer corner in, and then blending it out to balance my eye so it's not top heavy. And then I'm going under it again with that orangey color to kind of give it a nice transitional fade and warm it up a little. I'm lining my waterline with the Black Up Waterproof Smoky Eye Pencil. It's in the color black. <laughs> and then I'm just kind of smoking it out slightly. And then I didn't want to cover up that green, so I told you I do have a small lid space, so I'm kind of just putting a very small smoky line on the outer corner just to give it kind of an illusion of a deeper lash line on the outer corner. I'm adding a little bit of highlight. This is from the Jackie Aina palette on my nose, and I'm gonna put it on my eyebrows. Over my eyebrows, not on my eyebrows. <laughs> Bring a little bit of rouge to my cheek with Origins Blush and Sweet Toffee. So right now I'm trying to figure out what lip color to put on. I decided to go with the Veronica. <laughs> I really wanted to choose something different because it's literally like my favorite lip color and I feel like I wear it with everything, but it's such a nice nude. It's like a pinky nude and it just works with everything. So I decided again to go with the Veronica, why not? But I'm also gonna put a little bit of catnip, which is also by Anastasia. It's like a little bit of a brighter pink right in the middle of my lip, just to brighten that out a little bit. Add a little bit more color. I think that plays nicely with the green eyeshadows without being too colorful, you know? Using the Lancome Hypnos, Hypnos Drama? 
mascara. I'm putting that on my eyelashes and honestly I really wish that I could wear lashes because I feel like lashes would have really brought this look home but I just every time I put on lashes I feel like lamb chop but I need to find a pair of really good ones if you guys know lashes that work really well on small lids can you please put it in the comments so I can go look into it that's it that's how I got the look Everything that I used, of course, is going to be linked in the description box. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.